Welcome, Sonic. Glad you could make it to your funeral. Infinite, do it! Take this. What is that? Ha ha! That, my spiky little frenemy, is null space. Null space? It's a little something that the Phantom Ruby cooked up. A closed off space where absolutely nothing exists. Goodbye, Sonic, my soon to be eradicated nemesis. Enjoy all the nothing. Since you always destroy the power source of my weapons, I decided to learn from my mistakes. I had a backup power source created under Metropolis. Stage 24, Metropolis, Null Space. Alright, Sonic, we have to get out of here by double boosting. Yeah, we can do it. As long as we're together, nothing can stop us. We're invincible. Man, this is getting too cheesy even for me. I know I've been going along with it this whole time, but goddamn, this really reminds me of Sonic Heroes. Because we're Sonic Heroes! It's always hilarious to me when a story goes by the logic of the power of teamwork. And this story makes it especially prevalent. Like, the only reason Eggman and Infinite lose because they have no friends? Really? They're still working as a team, and Eggman still has allies in the form of Orbot, Cubot, and Infinite. All of his robots are loyal minions. They may not be friends, but they can still work as a team. In fact, like, isn't the reason that Sonic lost in the beginning is because all of Infinite's illusions teamed up on Sonic and worked together to defeat him? You know, something that Infinite seemingly stopped doing through the rest of the game? Oh, that strategy that worked the first time? Eh, let's abandon it because it probably won't work again. If Infinite can really create unlimited copies of all the most powerful, like, enemies that he has, and they're just as powerful as the originals, why not just create unlimited copies of Sonic, and then just take down the entire Resistance? This story has so many holes it might as well be Swiss cheese! Alright, enough ranting about that. The more I think about this game's story, the more it's a mess. Like, it has good ideas here and there, like I've said before. Like, Infinite's not a terrible idea on paper, but I feel like the only reason he loses is the same reason that any Dragon Ball villain loses. Arrogance. Excuse me, hmm? boss? It can't be! It's impossible to get out of the Phantom Ruby's null space! Well, maybe by myself, but I had a little help from my friend. Something you wouldn't understand since you don't have any friends. This changes nothing. Dr. Eggman will still have the last laugh. Maybe he'd have more friends if he didn't talk about himself in the third person. But talking about yourself in the third person is fun. I do it sometimes. It's great. And I have friends. Screw you, Sonic! I thought we were friends! We've got less than an hour before Eggman's plan goes down. There's no more time. We have to break into the fortress now. 
Indeed, this is it. Our last opportunity to bring peace back into the world. But when the battle ends, we'll have to part with Sonic. I mean this Sonic, won't we? Yes, if the Phantom Ruby is gone, I guess he'll be returned to his dimension. Thank you for everything, Sonic. I'll never forget what you did for us. Save the sentiments for later. This is not over yet. We still have a battle to fight. Exactly. This is our last chance. Give it everything you've got. Alright, stage 25, Imperial Tower. that the sun will fall upon you all boom the end your pathetic lives are over look it's reacting eggman said something about the phantom ruby prototypes let me see huh? whoa it is he said the phantom ruby prototypes only react to the person who activated it. That must be you, buddy. Your courage and heroism are probably what triggered it. Just maybe, if you use this, it can make that sun disappear. All right. Let's get to the center of this tower and somehow get rid of the sun? Isn't that a bad thing? Don't we kind of need the sun to live? Okay, I know, it's a phantom copy of the sun, not the actual sun. But still, it's kind of funny to think about. But man, yet again, Avatar, most important asset to the entire Resistance. More important than all of Sonic's friends. How convenient. Man, this stage is kind of annoying at parts. At least it's kind of hard to avoid taking damage in this stage. But it's fun to use the Burst Wisp in this stage because it can kind of just go over everything that's kind of hard. Compared to most stages, at least this stage has some amount of challenge. Most of the stages in this game are nothing. Oh well, I don't play Sonic games to play hard games, in fact I'd probably complain more if they were extremely hard. I found it pretty annoying to get S ranks in most Sonic games. Yeah, Sonic Unleashed and Sonic 06 are two Sonic games I will never 100% complete, like even if they were good games. One of them's only half a good game. Even if they were good games, I probably would never 100% them. Just because of how obnoxious the 100% was. 
I didn't even fairly 100% Sonic Adventure 2. I cheated for all the A ranks. I have 100% Sonic Heroes fair and square. As well as Sonic uh, the Hedgehog 1, 2, 3 and Knuckles, CD. It's not often that I 100% complete games, but it's fun when I do. Guys, time to press our advantage and kick major butt! Yeah! 